Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am so sorry I was not there for the last three to four days and all the Xiaomi Mi A1 videos that you've been seeing, those were pre-scheduled videos. I actually had left for a trip on the 30th of April and I was in Goa shooting for my second channel and having fun with my friends. But now that I'm back, there are a lot of things that are coming your way and we're gonna kickstart this day with a full review of Resurrection Remix for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I have been using this ROM for the last two to three days and from a custom ROM point of view, I'm mighty impressed. This is a very, very stable ROM. The camera is a little on the downer side, but then again, everything else is rock solid. The smoothness is next level and this is a daily driver for sure. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, if you haven't already, please check out my second channel that is Kratos 390. If you like motor vlogging and a lot of things about motorbikes, that is definitely a channel you should check out. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome to the channel once again and I apologize I was unavailable for the last three days. There were no uploads for the last three days because I was traveling and shooting for my second channel. As you know it, the name is Kratos390 and the trailer for that particular channel, that particular trip of Goa just went live yesterday. Here's a quick card to that. If you like to check it out, just go ahead and watch that video as well. And if you like the stuff on there, please do subscribe there as well. Now, what do we have today? We are talking about Y-Red, that is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, the Indian variant. And the one we are talking about here is the 464 variant in black color. Now, this is a device running a custom ROM that is a Resurrection Remix. 6.0 which is based on android 8.1 oreo now this is a full review but this is not going to be a conventional full review like you would see on other channels but this will be a first person full review this will be my impressions on what i feel about this particular rom and should you go for it as a daily driver or not all right so yeah let's have a look at this particular rom now what you see here is the home screen and this is how the default rom looks all right, so first things first, let's talk about the look and feel of this particular ROM. Now, as you can see, the Google Assistant is there. This is the stock launcher that comes with the phone. Now, one of the very big highlights of Resurrection Remix, at least for this device, is that it is very, very stable and you can definitely use it as a daily driver. Things like voice over LTE is working, you know, 4G is working, both the SIM cards are working. There are not many bugs which should, you know, shy you away from using this ROM as your daily driver. Now, apart from that, if you talk about the settings menu, that is where all the magic happens when it comes to customization. Now, this is what the settings menu is, and you've seen this settings menu in my install and preview video of Resurrection Remix for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, the best thing about this rom is configuration now we are going to cover this at least for the next two to three minutes so that because it is a full review i can at least show you what are the in-depth features of this particular rom now once you go to configurations you have status bar configuration now what you can do in status bar configurations is you can you know customize the position of the clock you can put it to the left you can change the AM PM style, you can change the font, you can decide if you want seconds or not, date or not, date format, date style, and you can make things smaller as well. Now, if you look further, you can enable or disable network traffic. There you go. And it works in a flash and when there is no activity, basically it disappears. So that is one another good thing. Apart from that, you have notification ticker, which basically counts the number of notifications that you have. Moving on, um, you have battery customizations. You can color your battery bar. You can choose what type of battery status icon you want. You want a dotted circle. You want a big circle. You want a square one. So as I'm changing this over here, as you can see, everything is changing over there. So you can change the charging color. You can blend the colors. You can decide the alignment. Charging animation can be enabled. So that is about the battery. You can choose to enable status bar weather these are all the options available you can pause the video and have a look at them if you want now the reason i'm covering these options is because that is what a custom rom is all about and that is where the most important things happen basic things like you know if you if you have any questions like can this be my daily driver well definitely yes 
Can you use the camera, the camera app, which is the default camera app, this one. So this is the default camera app. And as you can see, the front camera is working. The rear camera is working. And if I talk about the pictures, here are a few examples. The only thing that doesn't work in this particular camera, the default camera app is the portrait mode. But let's quickly have a look at a few photo examples. The clarity is on point. It may not be as precise as Xiaomi ROMs. But then again, yeah, just look at the quality of the pictures. So the quality of the pictures is on point. Even if you were to zoom into a picture, you can see that there is not a lot of graininess and the focus and everything else is precise. Now, one good thing here is that you can install Google camera, but there are a few problems with Google cameras compatibility, which is there with all the devices at times things work at times things don't work so what i've noticed with google camera is if you were to use the front google camera it only works in the portrait mode and at the rear if you use the google camera the right apk portrait mode works as well as the normal camera works now talking about the basics here if you go to settings and uh, you go to network and internet geo is working voice over lt is working you have wi-fi that is working hotspot that is working so as i said earlier everything on this particular rom is working and the battery backup is insane it is better than xiaomi roms is what i would say at least one hour extra screen on time is what you should expect you have ambient display and all the other things which are also available now we were talking about configuration so let's get back to that you can enable the brand logo here it is disabled so if i were to put it to the right now, the thing here is if you were to enable all the options that are available in this ROM Resurrection Remix, the top would look cluttered, something like this, which is something I don't prefer, but I have kept those options enabled so that you guys can have a look at what options are available. Now, System UI Tuner is something else as well. You can enable or disable these particular options. Let's move on to panels now. So yeah, you can enable panel customization you can choose the header provider and stuff like that now this is something i don't really use but yes that option is available you can also customize your power menu your volume panel and you can also customize your expanded notifications and stuff like that now if you go to quick settings you can have quick pull down enabled to the left to the right or you can have it disabled you can change the tile layout and you have advanced customization as well now the good thing here is quick setting tiles there is an animation available you can decide if you want animation what would be the duration of the animation moving on you have recent recent styles there are different recent styles available here so button style default that's the amount of options you have guys so that is what is the best part about resurrection remix not only they provide you one of the most solid and stable custom roms they also ensure that you get a very very customized experience when it comes to your phone and this is one very very big reason why you should consider unlocking your bootloader and moving to a rom like resurrection remix now if we move on to interface you have system ui tuner your fingerprint setting All Right, so this is my favorite setting right here fingerprint authentication vibration i choose to keep it off i have been saying this in my videos again and again and again that all the developers or all the device manufacturers should have this option to enable or disable vibration when your phone is unlocked now apart from this you have blur personal personalizations you have dpi scaling heads up notifications dashboard sound customization theming you can theme your theme that is what it says here apart from that there is a hell lot of options now lock screen security is there lock ui weather oh my god so you can just go on and on when it comes to the customization options when it comes to resurrection remix now let's move on to a few other things apart from customization if we go to the about section if you go to system and let's have a look at the version and stuff like that for this particular rom now obviously this is based on android 8.1 oreo there you have it that is your oreo easter egg and there is your mr octopus so yeah this is based on android 8.1 oreo and the build date is the 9th of may so this is a rom which is very much in development and 
at least once a week there are new builds coming up for this particular rom now talking about the security patch it is 5th april 2018 so if you were to go ahead and use the device responsibly well you will be very very secure at the same time you can have root access you can go ahead and flash majisk and a ton of other mods that are available using majisk that is the way i prefer reviewing roms if there is any major bug that i expect or i experience i would share it with you guys but so far it has been a very very stable rom for me i can use it as my daily driver the camera is no compromise the charging is no compromise the battery backup is no compromise and the smoothness on this particular rom is just on another level at times i have experienced a few bugs here and there but apart from that i didn't notice any major bugs like the camera crashing randomly the device overheating or random reboots at all so major bugs not there stability yes anything that is broken on this rom not really and the best part is this rom supports project treble and recently one important thing that i noticed is that this phone or this particular rom also supports dual 4g so you can have two sim cards that would go ahead and allow you to use 4g at the same time when you choose the data sim accordingly now one important thing that i'd like to check here is if i can enable Wi-Fi along with hotspot. So let me turn Wi-Fi on. And where do we have hotspot? There you go. All right. So hotspot is grayed out. Now the reason I bought this up is because one of my next videos, which is going to be the review of MIUI 9.5.6 based on Android 8.1. Now that ROM allows you to use Wi-Fi along with using hotspot. So you can actually share your Wi-Fi connection with others without knowing the password. So that is a review for you guys. It was a quick, quick review. Let me know in the comment section if you really, really liked it or not. I will leave the link for the thread in the description. And if you like this video, guys, give this video a like like share and stay tuned for more awesome videos about custom roms for wonderful devices that are coming up thank you for your time take care goodbye